What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie298 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And over the weekend, Death Stranding finally came out. And I just have to say something here after about four or five hours of playing it. I don't get it. <laughs> if you do, like, no judgment at all whatsoever. If this is your kind of game, please enjoy it. But that said, it is, it's definitely not for me. Now, in this video, I want to take a look at other people's opinions as well. But I figure I should offer mine first. Uh, I love story-based games, and I was immediately drawn in by Death Stranding's world building and character development and acting and graphics. I mean, there's so much right about this game. The problem for me is the, the gameplay loop is just not interesting to me. I've never really liked stealth games. I've never really gotten too into Kojima games in the past, so it's probably no surprise that I wasn't into this one. In the four hours or so that I played, the gameplay loop is simply just delivering packages from one place to another with plenty of really interesting distractions. Don't get me wrong, but there are stealth elements, there's survival elements. There's a lot of stuff in video games that I just don't particularly enjoy. Again, if you do, that's fantastic. What's really interesting about this game is even though I don't feel the desire to play it, I am very interested in the world and, and, and the, the story and finding out what happens. So this is going to be one of those games that I'm just going to watch somebody else play and I will fast forward through the boring gameplay loop portions that I'm not interested in. I'm definitely interested in seeing how this game plays out and I don't mind watching somebody else play because I obviously paid for the game. So <laughs> as interesting as it is, I just don't feel the need to begrudgingly go through a, a gameplay loop that I don't personally find fun. But I think the most important thing that I want to communicate to you in this video is one opinion. I'm glad this game exists. Even if it's not for me, even if it's not for my personal tastes, this game is bizarre and unique and brave and different. And even though I don't particularly enjoy it, and you'll see as we look at some of these reviews, a lot of other people didn't as well, I like the fact that it's different. We could get another Minecraft clone. We can get a, a, another Call of Duty clone. We can get another Overwatch clone or another card game, and we'll all play those games. But this is something brand new and innovative. I mean, we've had walking simulators before, but certainly, certainly nothing like this. And this could be its own genre if enough people like this. Um, it's, it's just like nothing that's ever existed before, and it could serve as a building block for an entire brand new genre of video games that people take this and build off of it. So I'm glad that Sony and Kojima took the risks and made what is just probably one of the most bizarre games of, of the year, but probably of this console generation, hands down. But this gameplay loop is just so bizarre. Uh, you play Sam, who is going to basically travel from one end of the country to the other, playing what is uh, the equivalent of the postman in a post-apocalyptic America, uh, delivering packages and reconnecting cities. Uh, and, and that's, I mean, that's cool and interesting. And I have to say that the actual, like, mechanics of it uh, the way that he traverses the world, uh, the, the fact that you've got to balance the packages on your back, uh, the, the survival elements, the, the exploration. I mean, it's all really interesting and innovative, and it's well done. I mean, it feels, feels really hearty. It just, just to me, again, isn't fun to do. And when it comes to the storyline and the world building and the cutscenes, of course the cutscenes, this couldn't be more of a Kojima game with these epic, fascinating cutscenes. Uh, the way he develops the characters, the way he writes the characters, the names of the characters, and the graphics are phenomenal. So there's so much good to be said about this game, even if it's just not for me. But not everyone seems to agree with that. I mean, taking a look at the Metacritic score, uh, we have 85 critics reviewing the game with a total score of about 83, which seems to be pretty fair. I mean, that's fairly on the positive side, certainly. Um, when it comes to the user scores, we got about a 6.9 based off of 7,520 ratings. And as much as the critics may like or dislike this game, ultimately, I think the user scores is always the most important metric, though that can be, you know, downvoted on based on politics outside of the game. Still, so can the critic scores as well. I mean, taking a look at some of these top reviews, and you'll see people who share my opinion. Atomic says, Death Stranding is the birth of a new genre. Death Stranding is a masterpiece that can only be generated by a mind like the one of Hideo Kojima has. And even though that does come across as very fanboyish, I think he's right. This is a brand new genre of games that takes the, the basic building blocks of survival and walking simulator and just builds 
on that to create something brand new. Though I do like this positive review here by Game Planet. Uh, gave it a hundred score, but says that while Death Stranding will surely be the most divisive game of this generation, there's no arguing that it offers new ideas on pushing the medium forward and shows that games don't always typically have to be fun. What? I mean, I guess I have to agree with him here. Uh, a game doesn't have to be fun and it doesn't have to always be fun. I do like video games that are fun, and I want to find the core gameplay loop to be fun. But again, that is a subjective terminology. What I consider to be fun, you might consider to be grueling. I love Magic the Gathering, for example. You guys may hate grinding away in a game like Arena. Uh, so I don't really particularly enjoy the traversal of, of the world in this game. Um, he, neither did he, but he still gave the game uh, 100 scores. So that one's a little head-scratching, but well, whatever. Probably my favorite review is this one by Trusted Reviews, who said Death Stranding is unlike anything else out there right now. It's huge, innovative, and utterly unashamed in what it wants to be. Kojima Productions is heavy-handed in its implementation of modern political themes, but they tie into the narrative and evolve the player in ways that feel compelling. And there's definitely some truth to this. Uh, as much of the storyline as I fully understand right now, this game has a very interesting and cool message, but I will not spoil that for you here in this video. Though I think this uh, review by PlayStation Lifestyle really summarizes how I feel about this game. It says Death Stranding is not a fun game, but it's important and meaningful experience that earns its payoff through every bit of frustration and slog. It's a look at life and death, connection and solitude, a game about building up what matters most and supporting each other selflessly. You'll be bored at times and downright frustrated at others, but it comes with a great reward at the end that is made sweeter by the trials that precede it. It's brilliantly unique in its design and implementation of online elements. And I feel like this is a discussion we've had a million times when it comes to video games. Uh, but it's a little different this time. I mean, obviously, in the past, we've talked about difficulty in video games and whether or not games need to be easier or whether it's okay for some games to be extremely difficult and extremely hard to the point that they frustrate most players if some players enjoy being frustrated. This is a whole other thing in that so much of this game is not just frustrating or difficult, but it's also just kind of boring, busy work. But again, there is a point to that. If you stick with the game, based on what I've stuck with myself and seen other people play, it really, really does prove a point by putting you through those ordeals. The same way I'd say a game like Cuphead does, it uh, teaches you to get good, to get better, and rewards you when you're successful. This game seems to do the same thing, just in a vastly different way. Now, taking a look at the two negative critical reviews that are out there, Giant Bomb absolutely hated this game, saying it is a bizarre, self-indulgent mess that never quite manages to tie its myriad pieces together. Um, I haven't completed the game, I haven't seen the end of the game yet, so I cannot say that for sure, but it's my experience with just about every other Kojima game I've ever seen played or played myself that he does end up leaving a lot of loose ends on the table, but it's okay because he can wrap it up in a following game. Uh, Steve Vivor uh, says Death Stranding is an irredeemable piece of garbage that should serve as a warning to publishers who give developers carte blanche to create art. And that review I absolutely disagree with. I mean, this game has sold very well. It is the second biggest PS4 launch of 2019 and will be one of the most memorable games of the PlayStation 4 generation. But even if this game had been a complete failure, I would say that it was absolutely okay for someone like Kojima, for someone like Sony, to create a brand new, unique game that does not follow industry uh, standards and just does something brand new and unique. Even if I don't enjoy this game, I want to celebrate that exists and I think that's important to include in your review. I have no clue how you could give this game a 25 or a 35. I'm really disappointed by the people who did, especially professional critics, because this is a well-made game. Even if you don't enjoy it, you should probably observe that it's well-made and it's a risky, bizarre, interesting piece of art, even if it's not a game you enjoy. Now, I do want to take a quick look at the user reviews because I do find they're very important, but there's not a lot here that I can safely read on YouTube, but I think Mr. Davis does a good job here giving him a score of one. He says, this game is proof that gameplay in a video game is truly important. I feel bad for bashing this game because the world itself looks pretty. However, that is the only good thing I can say about the game. Kojima has made some great games in the past, but this is not one of them.
Another perfect example, uh, Zimlax gives it a score of four, and he says, I play games to have fun. The delivery system type of gameplay is just straight up exhausting and does not compel me to want to do better, and more importantly, have fun or have a good time. And no matter who you ask, that seems to be the general consensus that we keep coming back to. There are plenty of people who just love this game because it is such a unique piece of art that redefines video games as kind of what they are. But then there's also plenty of people like me who just don't enjoy Enjoy the core gameplay loop and because of that they don't enjoy the game itself and I think you can see this it reflected in a lot of reviews you'll see people who don't enjoy the gameplay loop but enjoy the world building the character character development the storyline and everything else involved if you're the kind of person that can set through gruelingly dull gameplay to get to that point and I do admit that it looks like around the 20 hour mark the gameplay does get way more interesting um, then you might be the kind of player who's rewarded by playing a game like this. Uh, as for the rest of us, I think we're probably just better off watching somebody else play it. And I think that's okay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I've been wanting to do stuff like this for a while, especially when it comes to important video games like this. Let me know if you think I'm wrong or right down in the comments section below. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon. Now I'm going to go find a YouTuber to pick to watch deliver packages while I play a much more fun game on my Switch. Bye.